story. Jamie and I have a really, really fun myth to pass on to you this time. Yeah, this one is another Hollywood-created myth, and it's the one around a person getting shot and, like, flying backwards. So the question is, does a bullet have enough kinetic energy to transfer to a person that would, like, knock them back, whether or not they're wearing, like, a bulletproof vest or something, just like we see in the movie? Obviously, they aren't going to shoot a real person. So here's the idea. Build a large rack to hold up a victim it's safe to shoot. A predeceased victim with human-like physiology. A recently departed pig will be perfect. There you go. Wow. And what do you know? A direct hit. But wait a second. The pig hardly flinched. Surely the appropriate Hollywood-style reaction is more like this. Um, did you? I mean, I didn't see anything move. Did the whole, did the carcass move at all? Hardly at all. Yeah. It moved a little bit, but that could have been a fly that landed on it. <laughs> yeah. It's a setback, all right. Maybe what they need is something with a little more power, like say a Thompson submachine gun. The 45 caliber bullet leaves the carcass unmoved. Uh, I think we just need to keep on moving up higher through yeah. the calibers. This is a uh, 44 Magnum. We're going to be shooting a uh, 240 grain bullet out of it. This is the same caliber that Dirty Harry uses in the movie. At impact, the bullet is traveling at 1,300 feet per second. But the high speed camera shows the pig hardly flinched. That went right through again. Yep. No movement at all. I think we can start to move a little faster with this. I want to see some actual action on this. Action Adam wants, action Adam gets. Nope, back on save. Nothing. Yes. Each weapon is more powerful than the last. It's the same sort of bullet they use in the M60 machine gun. You remember Rambo in the first movie where he's yeah. got that belt-fed machine gun? Yeah. This is the same cartridge. Rambo, now he could send the bad guys flying. Still, the pig refuses to fly like a hapless Hollywood fall guy. I think we're hitting this pig in the perfect spot. I mean, this is where the highest concentration of his mass is. You couldn't ask for better, and it's not moving at all. But some of the rounds have passed right through the target. Come on. That means most of the bullet's energy is being expended not in the body, but in the hillside behind. Last chance, a massive, solid deer slug fired from a shotgun. Yeah! Hey! Woo! Did it! Got some movement. Ah, oh, finally! At last, the pig's off the hook, but let's compare with the ideal swan dive. Not even close. After uh, the test of the pigs proved basically that a bullet is not going to throw you back, we decided to do what is the worst case scenario if you're wearing a bulletproof vest, which is going to take all the force of the bullet right here. It's not going to be absorbed in your body. What would happen? So we're going to run through our spate of weapons with this and see if Buster actually gets thrown back. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. One round, nine millimeter pistol, fired from an MP5. Bounce. Nothing the sequel. 12 gauge, double out buck. Again, it's down to the shotgun to at least knock Buster off the hook. Any high school physics textbook will shoot holes in Hollywood's gunfight scenes. The simple truth about this test is it's, it's about the impact or Im effect on the target can't be greater than what the shooter's going to feel because, you know, Newton's laws still apply. So if he was going to go 10 feet, the shooter would go 10 feet Absolutely. in the opposite direction. Absolutely. That's a big gun. That's a big, big gun. <laughs> Real big gun. Guys, we threw everything that we had at those pigs and... The most we got was getting the pig to fall off the hook. I know, it was totally busted. I mean, you see in Hollywood movies, people getting shot and they get thrown back. I mean, this pig went back maybe two inches. Yeah, yeah. top. 